G'day, welcome back to uh, my channel. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content on my channel. Uh, if you missed the last video on the vice build, it's link up there now, you can go watch it. Uh, those little uh, mini DROs that I had on order have finally arrived, so follow me here to the bench and we'll have a quick look at them. Well viewers, the wonders will never cease. Uh, these little uh, individual linear scale things that I bought from AliExpress arrived here a week ahead of when they said they would, which has not been my previous experience with these guys. It takes forever to get anything from them normally. And the other surprise is this one I bought for the Z-axis and it's supposed to be 300 millimeters, but I don't know if you can read that tape or not, but it's the best part of 400. My table's actually 380, which is about what that is. So I might better use that on the X-axis. And I did order a week or so ago a 500mm uh, one to use on the table on the x-axis which I should, will easily fit up in the z-axis so I might swap them around. This is how it comes, uh, this one's 150mm supposedly but it's about that long, it's about nearly 300 long, 250 to 300 long. But I've had a quick look and I think I might struggle to fit these things up. The uh, z-axis will be easy because there's plenty of room to fit that. But trying to hide these things underneath that table is going to be a bit of uh, a bit of a challenge. But anyway, well, uh, there's only one way to find out if they'll fit, and that's to try and fit them. I don't think I've got a hope and hope hell of fitting uh, this in here on the front. And these damn things, I shortened them up by 10 millimeters the other day to get them in behind this handle, and now it's left hardly any room in there. So around the around the back's about the only place to be able to fit it. But then I've got to try and fit it underneath all these covers and everything. Uh, I think the uh, y-axis up under here might be a bit of a challenge as well. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how we go with them. They come with enough hardware to fit them all up. So. But these just slide on there like that. And I do believe you can shorten these up. See this is this is the 300mm one. This is 380 this table. And I'll have to shorten it up even to fit it on there I think. Anyway, get on with that. Well, this 500mm uh, one's arrived, and uh, it's left me wondering what did I order? Did I order a linear scale? Did I order a fishing rod? It comes in this little bag, unlike the other two which came in those uh, phone boxes. Now, I've just been over looking at everything again. And I'm going to have to somehow use this on the X because uh, that one that's 400 long, you only get 300 millimeters of travel because of the width of this damn thing. So I'm going to have to cut this down until I have 380 mils of travel and somehow try and fix it. Anyway, I'll have a look at that. Uh, one thing I didn't mention previously was these things are, are actually battery powered. I'm going to take two of these uh, CR20323 volt batteries in here. So that's good enough to try and wire the damn things up. But I'll have to try and remember to turn them off all the time so the batteries don't go flat too quick. Well, I don't know how much of this you, you can see, if any. I've uh, got the camera sitting on a box on the back of the bench. The issue here is, at the moment, is this motor on the power feed. Because I've got to use the 500mm one. And that's, uh, that's about where the the sensor will mount about there but as you can see this is interfering with the bottom of that so uh, I've either got to spin this motor around point it out towards the front or stick it up in the air or do some damn thing with it but uh, I don't know, I'll have to have a think about that well it appeared you could see <laughs> last time I did this so I'll have another try uh, alright so what I've done is uh, I've taken the table off and I've drilled and tapped a hole in the side of the table and I've now drilled two holes in here to uh, tap a couple of M5 threads in them. Now they will be, the, the, the hole I've drilled and tapped in the table is to mount the sensor and this will give me two holes, two threads to mount, I don't know, some sort of bracket to mount the rail onto. I'm still not 100% what I'm going to do there. Maybe uh, get a bit of something, some aluminium or a bit of gas steel or something. Build up, a, a bend up a bit of a, 
uh, an angle shape that I can bolt to there. It's, uh, it's all very tight here and it's damn hard to find uh, what to do. But anyway. I shall press on with it. Alrighty, just remembered I've had a desk lamp sitting in the cupboard that I could use to light this up with. So maybe you can see a little better now. Alright, so I'm going to file this hole out a little more. It's a slotted hole, but it's not deep enough. And at the moment that's just nicking on the top of there, but as long as I get some clearance over the top of here, then this can slide backwards and forwards through there. But I've got to make a bracket up that comes out here to support each end. That'd be stupid really, but anyway. There might be many, many readouts, but there's not many any other damn thing. And the other issue I'm going to have is how I'm going to attach uh, the guards. Because before I had it tucked up in under here, on, on the underneath the table, but I won't be able to go there anymore. And I can't, I was thinking I'll make a bracket at the screw under there that comes out and over the top of this. But I can't do that either because this thing has to move backwards and forwards across here. What a bloody hassle. Oh well, keep at it. Oh, yours. I might have this side of it sorted out. I just went down the road to a uh, little store that makes aluminium frame windows and doors. And uh, I came up with this. It's a bit... Uh, it's a bit flimsy and a bit flexible, but that may not be a bad thing because if there's any misalignment uh, this way, they allow it to bend and twist a little bit instead of breaking things. So I think I'll be able to uh, sort this, this part of it out with this. So that's a win. Alrighty. So I've definitely got this one, this part sorted out now. And uh, when he gave me this, uh, this piece of L, uh, L bracket, it was this much longer. Now I've put that in my little bender and I've bent that up so that I can sit that over there and bolt that onto the side of the uh, table to give that a bit of protection in there. So uh, I'll take the table off and drill a couple more. Drill and thread a couple of holes in here so I can bolt this on and that'll also allow me to uh, to cable tie this cable back down this end out of harm's way. So that's a win. So that's the hardest one done, so the other two are a piece of cake compared to this one. Alrighty, so the next hardest one, if I can say that, is the y-axis. And the things I have to consider are clearing underneath this and clearing underneath this. But I have enough length in this, I do believe, to be able to sit that down in this slot. So if I have to, I can cut a little bit off it, make some new brackets up or modify these so that they will sit down inside that slot and then once it's down in there I'll just make a bracket up that bolts onto here I can get in there and just get in there I think drill and tap a, at least one hole in there probably doesn't need any more and make a bracket out to come out and down to bolt to uh, to the, the sender unit so that, that's all the way over this way, this wound all the way out at the moment and uh, it's only got to travel about a bit over 100 mil, and this is 150 so I do believe I can cut a bit off that so I'll get on with that. Well that was all a bit too easy really. Um, the other week when I bought that uh, steel for the bottom of the vise I ordered a piece of half inch round because I just thought it'd be handy and it is, it just came in handy to make a space right put in there so that just uh, that works really well. No problems there at all. Nice! Beautiful. I might actually have that in the wrong spot because as I get all the way towards the back it starts to run into there but that's an awful long way back. So that bracket clears these bolts here and everything clears the bottom of this, clears the top of that so everything's good. Yep. Alrighty, so uh, I said that the Y axis was a piece of cake, well the Z axis was, was almost too easy. Just straightened out that little Z bracket that they supply. It's raining here at the moment too, if you can hear that. Uh, and all I've done is up here, I'm only, I'm only going to bother fixing the bottom. Just a, a longer bolt than I needed, with a nut in behind the back to uh, to lock it up, and then just moved it in and out until it was fixed in the right spot. So that was all just too easy, that was. 
If you've been enjoying this video up until this point, I'd really uh, appreciate it if you'd give it a big thumbs up and smash that like button. It really helps me out. And don't forget, leave a comment. I'm uh, glad, glad to read them and I'll always answer them. In case you're wondering how am I going to get this cover off now with all these things on the front, well, it's no big deal. Uh, these things just lift off like that. Just a little bracket screwed on there. They do have magnets in the back of them, but uh, with this cover being aluminium or, or aluminium, can't stick them to there so I elected to use those little brackets and the, the, none of this wiring is attached to that cover so all I could do is unhook them all and uh, pull the cover off too easy camp easy yeah. I'm not going to bother marking them and I'm just going XYZ from the top no problem Z to you Americans XYZ and I've discovered I've left these on to see what would happen and as you can see they've been on there for probably half an hour and they haven't turned off so I'm going to have to get used to turning the damn things off otherwise I'll be going through batteries like there's no tomorrow well viewers between uh, bad weather stuff ups on my part and uh, the want to uh, fix this damn table up and get all the high and low spots out of it I it's three days since I made that last recording plus I had a guy here in my way for a full day fitting the new air conditioner this is uh, this is the X now it has absolutely no play in it I spent oh, a good day a full day reworking the uh, dovetail on that one that was a little bit bent and uh, I've, it's it's actually really good now so anyway uh, this video was about fitting these things up. That's the X under power feed there at the moment. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, don't forget, if you really enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.